All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do, and actually what we're going to need is some bobby pins, hair pins, hairspray, and some brushes, and a rat tail comb. We're going to start off at the top. And I already had done this on this doll, but I'm going to switch it up just a tiny bit. Um, you can curl the hair, like set it in rollers, do like a part and set them up, going that way, you know, coming back on base, and just set rollers to have a bit of a curl, something to, for the hair to attach onto. And we're going to create a couple of victory rolls first. So my part's right here in the middle. I'm actually going to switch the head right there because I believe you guys can see better this way. There we go. I think that should be better. And you see how I have that part in the middle? I'm going to pull a triangle shape down. And I'm going to take a pretty big section. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a victory roll. So create your victory roll right here. You guys can spray them as you go. So I'm gonna pin the victory roll down. Now normally I do these um, tutorials in like five minutes for you guys. I'm actually gonna try and take my time with this one so you guys can see a bit of a neater one. So see how I've created that victory roll right there? That's all you're gonna do. Spread it a little. Different. I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna brush this hair forward, and the curls. If there's curls in there, it just helps that victory roll last a little bit, a lot longer. And I'm using some white, some cheap hairspray. And this is a white rain from like the Dollar Tree that I bought like years ago. But I have like no hairspray, and it's raining, so I do not feel like going out to go buy hairspray if I don't really need it that badly. So we're gonna pull this one forward, and I'm just gonna roll it back. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking that section of hair that was on the side, and I just rolled it up. So that it would meet with that one. And you can kind of see where the victory rolls are already. I'm going to spray that and run my fingers through it so that there's no flyaways. I'm going to get that to be clear. And then we're going to do somewhat of the exact same thing at the side over here. So we're going to create another victory roll. Here. And it's going to come up like this as well. One thing that sometimes I've noticed that I like to do is I'll like to take this section up here and push it up. Kind of a little bit of a twist. And take our bobby pin and pin it then now. So that way it's even neater. And what I'm going to do now is just... I'm going to spray it because I don't want any flyaways. And I'm going to create that that pin curl type. Then I'm going to take a hairpin and pin that in place just like that. Now we're going to move up to the top and the top back here a lot of this will be like pin curls paper or rollers and little things like that. Before these. I'm going to do that. Victory roll on top. So just do that all over the top create. Just play around how you feel like Now for the bottom part, there's lots of different ways you can do. You can keep on doing a couple more um, little like pin curls. And what I've done is I'll just take like a little piece like this. And then I'll take it up and start creating that pin curl, just wrapping it around my finger. And setting it in place like that. And taking a hairpin and just pinning it into the place. But what I'm going to do this time... To cut some time, I'm just going to spray that section, smooth it out as much as I can. And lift it all the way to the top like this. And when I get here, make sure all that's smooth. I'm going to take a bobby pin and lock that section of hair. And I'm going to take that last curl that's there and just create a pin curl here that will hide that bobby pin. And I'm going to take a hair pin 
and lock it into place and just kind of spread it around like that and anything that's like right here that you don't like that you can probably pull out I'm going to pull this out right here and just take this hairpin out that little section I don't like how it looked what I'm going to do is just it's very forgiving by the way this is a hairstyle that's very forgiving because it's just bobby pins what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a bigger pin curl and kind of just let it fall into place and there you go that's how simple it is to create this updo so now the last thing to do is just add your crown and that's what we're going to do we're just going to wiggle our crown right in and play with the crown a little bit And that should be it. You should be done with your curl. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.